sing it with me, Savior. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty to save forever, forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, He can move your mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Listen to this. Everyone needs compassion. Listen here. And everyone needs compassion. Love that's never failing. Mighty God. Let mercy fall on me. And everyone needs forgiveness. The kindness of a Savior. He's the hope of nations. The hope of nations. See you with me, church. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. So take me, Jesus. So take me as you find me, my God. All my fears and failures, Lord, fill my life again. I give my life to follow. Everything I believe in, I surrender. See you with me, church. See it, Savior. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we lift your wonderful people up before you on this morning. And as we continue in our series, your faith will be tested. Minister to your people. Let the word of Christ dwell richly in your people. Let it equip them. Let it strengthen them to be able to survive any test, any trial, and go through any tribulation. Job said it best when he said, You know the way that I take, O Lord, that when you try me, I'm coming forth as pure gold. God, there are some of your children in the fire this morning. But Lord, I pray you wrap your arms of love around them. Let them feel you near them. Let them sense your presence. God, let them know everything's going to be all right. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Somebody say amen. So good morning to you wonderful saints of the Most High God. We are continuing in our series on this morning, Your Faith Will Be Tested. And on this morning specifically, we are talking about much good will come out of your trials. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and say, much good is going to come out of my trials. Much good. You know, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God even to them who are called according to his purpose it's working together for your good and this brings us into the book of Acts chapter 16 the apostle Paul remember in Acts 16 beginning at like verses 1 through 8 he had a vision of a man in Macedonia crying out to him and saying come here come over and help us Paul obeyed the vision it was the call of God to go to that part of the world and minister to this group of people so he went into Philippi which was a part, part of that big area there and because of his love for the Lord and his 
preaching the gospel and demonstrating the power of God, the apostle Paul began to be attacked and persecuted because they said, this man is destroying everything. And what's, what happened is he cast the devil out of a witch who was bringing the businessmen a whole lot of business through her witchcraft and her spirit of divination and her soothsaying. My God. And they attacked the apostle Paul and they threw him into prison and he was whipped severely think about it he cast the devil out and got somebody delivered you think everyone would be happy but there are some people you don't know how they are getting their money that's why you can't envy folk and say oh well, I wish I had with dad you don't know what they are doing everybody ain't seeking God like you are and everyone ain't trusting God to give them the wisdom to get what they're working hard for you listening to me some people are into witchcraft and obey and voodoo and some very very serious messed up stuff that's against the word of God amen but I want I, I want God give it to me I don't want nothing from the devil hello somebody Jesus Jesus said the prince of this world is coming and he have nothing in me. My God, help me somebody. So this brings us to Acts chapter 16, beginning at verse 23. The Bible says, and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely and securely. Who having received such a charge, this guy took them and he thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. Remember, Jesus said, you going to be persecuted for righteousness sake. This preacher is thrown in jail for preaching the gospel. My God, my God, we in the last day, saints. Now watch this. Now they, these guys just took a whip and they, they got thrown in jail for setting someone free from the devil. My God, my God. That's my kind of company right there. That's my kind of crowd. Now watch this. Verse 25. It didn't say they cried and they they didn't say they cried and they were upset and they were complaining to all the other prisoners. The Bible says, and at midnight, watch this, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. Man, they could have been whining, they could have been complaining, but these men, they, their backs, their whelps on their backs, stripes on their backs, they've been whipped, they've been abused, and these men decide to lift their voices to heaven and be begin to give God the praise. I believe if Paul knew this song, he would have said, Savior, come on, Savior, he can move mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Conquer the grave. Now watch this. So Paul and Silas is singing in there, praising God. And the Bible says, and suddenly, oh, they got God's attention. I believe God began to tap his feet to the beat. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. This is God doing this. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken, my God. And watch this now. And immediately... All the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. This is God doing this. All of their chains and shackles fell from off their hands and off their feet. And the Bible says, and the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he thought the prisoners had escaped. And if you were a prison keeper and the prisoners escape on your watch, you would be executed. So the Bible says he saw the prison doors open and he drew out his sword and was about to kill himself, commit suicide, supposing that the prisoners had fled. He thought they had escaped. But watch this. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do yourself no harm for we are all here. My God, my God. Watch this. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. Glory to God. And brought them out. And listen to what he said. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved and your house. And they spoke 
spoke unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in his house and he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized he and all of his family immediately and when he had brought them into his house he set meat before them and rejoiced believing in God with all his house now watch this if Paul and Silas would have griped and complain and begin to cuss and want to fight and throw a fit like some of us do these people in this jailer this, this prison keeper he would have been lost for all eternity but because Paul and Silas were willing to take a, a licking and keep on ticking and give God the glory God shook the whole place my God he had to come down those men went to hell and back for God God said they stood with me and now I'm gonna stand with them and as a result of this much good came out of it the prison keeper and his entire family was saved not only this out of this out of this experience right here the church at Philippi was birthed no wonder Paul can write to these people with such passion and said my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory had Paul not been willing to go through this he would have never been able to raise up the church at Philippi who were the first group of people to stood with Paul and support his ministry people want that breakthrough but they don't want to go through no fire sometimes before you get the breakthrough you need before you get the support you need before God can put people behind you he got to put you in the fire and tried you and like Job said he knows the way that I take that when he try me I'm coming out as pure gold somebody lift your hands to heaven and say I'm coming out of this and when I do come out I'm coming out as pure gold glory to God Savior Savior he can move mountains my God is mighty to say he is mighty to say forever forever author of salvation he rose he rose and conquered the grave sing this with me shine your light sing it with me shine your light and let the whole world see we're singing for the glory of the risen King. Shine the light. Come on, Jesus. Shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory. Savior, sing it with me. Savior, He can move your mountains. My God is mighty to save. Listen, join your faith with me. Me and Pastor Amy lift you up before the Lord right now. And we remind you this morning, much good is going to come out of your trials. I pray in the name of Jesus for you, my friend, my brother and my sister. I pray that the Holy Ghost would undergird you, that he would mantle you, that he would touch you, that he would equip you, that he would strengthen you, that he would give you the endurance. Having done all to stand, stand my God you're coming out of it you're coming out more than a conqueror David said many are the afflictions of the righteous but out of them all the Lord delivers him he'll deliver you out of this thing listen here we want to give you an opportunity to show your support for the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to do so you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash sean pinder ministries you can also text to give all you have to do is text the letters spm to the number 45888 and a link will be sent to you you can also give through the ministry zell account the ministry zell email address is info at seanpinder.net you can also give through the ministry cash app account that address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. 
listen here I just I feel I gotta go in this direction I surrender all somebody tuning into this broadcast you've been watching for a while now and the Holy Spirit have been drawing you and you haven't yet surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ but today is your day Jesus said today if you hear his voice harden not your heart God wants to save your soul but he needs your cooperation I used to say oh when he get ready he'll save me because I didn't know any better he died for you 2,000 years ago you're not waiting on God God's waiting on you without any further hesitation I want you to pray this prayer with me say Lord Jesus I am a sinner in desperate need of forgiveness I ask you to wash me in your blood I ask you to save my soul I believe you are the Son of God I believe you died on Calvary Cross for me on the third day God raised you from the dead you are now seated at God's right hand and soon and very soon you are coming again from this day I turn my back on the world the flesh and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son Jesus Christ thank you Lord for forgiving me of my sins and writing my name down in the Lamb's book of life friends if you prayed that prayer with me and meant it with all of your heart your sins have been forgiven and I want you to type below this video right now I've just surrendered my life to Jesus make a public confession Jesus said if you be ashamed of me down here on this earth I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my father and the holy angels and from me and my wife to you welcome into the family of God oh he have awesome plans for your life and listen I want you remember to join us on tomorrow as we talk about why God chose you you are going to be blessed why God chose you we love you see you on tomorrow now God bless you bye bye